guys, it's your boy Journey here, bringing you another great video to the channel. And if this is your first time here, on this channel we do a lot of product reviews, tech reviews, gaming reviews, live streaming, like gaming. We do some vlogs, some how-tos, some tutorials. We do a whole bunch of stuff here that you might be interested in. But essentially it rolls all around electronics and tech life. So if you like all that stuff and more, then stay tuned to this channel, guys. And while you're at it, you might as well hit that subscribe button, enable bell notifications, so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one, or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss out on things we do on this channel. And while you're already done that, you might as well like all my videos, share my videos, comment my videos. Because it helps the channel grow more and more exposed, so that they don't miss out just so you're not missing out on like, videos like this. All right, so let's do all that. Hey guys, are you looking for some awesome and premium service TV? Then you want to come and check out catchontv.com. Once you go here, it'll bring you to this great nice looking website right here. Look at all the stuff they have to offer. And look at this right here. Take a free trial right here. You get to get a free three day trial. Check it out. You got all so much information. And look at the layout of this website. This website looks so nice, guys gives you all the information you need to go ahead and get started but wait there's more let's go and check out the app itself look at the app right here look how nice this app is like look at the layout on this guys you don't want to miss out look at all this stuff they have available for you guys to check out so much stuff to check out guys so you're not going to regret it so come and check them out today all right guys so today i got a great product for you to check out uh the great people at udacha sent me a great product to review and it's right here, this is the all-in-one video conference camera. This is a great, great, great device and it's very lightweight. I can feel it right here, it's very lightweight, guys. There's a lot of reasons you would wanna use this. This is mainly used as, as a conference webcam. You know, you're in a big conference, you're talking to one person and like, like maybe like 10 of you in one room. You put this at the end of the table, hook it up and you have a camera there has built-in microphones on the top. There's four points of microphones. So it gets 360 degrees in a subset of all the mics. And you see this thing right here on the bottom? That is your audio output. So let's say you're having a conference, but you don't have, you have a projector on the screen showing the conference, so you're talking back and forth. How are you gonna hear? Either you can either put speakers on there, or you use this. You know, why is this? Because this is all in one. It has that speaker built in right here. So this has the speaker on top, I mean the microphone on top, the webcam right here on the front, and the speakers on the bottom. This is a great thing. And then you guys are wondering, the quality on the, on the video, the sound, and the microphone is. I will do that, because I am gonna hook it up to my computer up here, put it on the corner over here, and I'm gonna show you the difference between this webcam right here and the Elgato face cam that I'm gonna have over there. So I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna show you both and compare both and show you the difference in it. The also thing about the camera gives you a better wide angle view. Why is that important? So when you are doing conferences or just doing meetings with friends and stuff or family chat with another friend on you on Zoom across the country, you want the whole family in it and you want to, this gives you a better wide angle camera on here that you would get on the webcam. Most webcams are about 45 degree angle field of view. This is double. This is 90 degree field of view, guys. It's a big field of view and the camera quality is 1080p, 30 frames per second, guys. So it's a decent webcam. This is not meant for game streaming or anything like that. Even though you could, if you wanted to, if you wanted the wide angle on your game stream, you could use this, but most people won't need it. You, all you need is a webcam. But again, this is mostly used for conferences or having like a big um, video chat with a family across the country. So this works in many, many ways, guys. This works awesome. Uh, it also has a built-in noise AI noise cancellation system in it. So if you worry about a lot of noise in the background and stuff, it's not. It's only trying to gonna pick up the voice on your on this. It's only gonna pick up your voice. It's not gonna pick up. Let's say you have a construction outside the building. It's not gonna pick that up. AI would recognize it from your voice that needs to be picked up. All right, it also cancelates your echo. So if you have an echo in your room, not an echo device, but echoing. If it's echoing in your room, because there's a big room, this has echo cancellation and 
to plug this in is just a plug and play. That's all it is, guys. It's really that easy. You plug and play and enjoy. All right, and then um, really that's it. it. Has a privacy camera there, and what we can do now is we're gonna open it up and show you what's inside because I know you're gonna be wanting to know what this is. But let me show you the box first of Club and Personal. So it looks like this. This is the front. These are the side with some features. The name of the company is right there. I know I probably said it completely wrong, but if you want to learn how to say it, there you go. Um, on the bottom is pretty much blank. In the back is just the barcode. And that's it. All right, so we're going to open it up and show you what's inside because I think this is a great device. All right, so when you first open this up, you will have this USB cable right here. This is a USB-A to USB-C. So I'm assuming the device does take a USB-C plug. All right, perfect. Here's a user manual guide. Pretty simple, not too much to read here. Very easy to use, boom. Uh, and you wonder, I said it was lightweight, right? The camera itself only weighs 12.95 ounces. That is very, very, very light, guys. You can carry it anywhere. So if you do have, if you're a business person, you you want you have a lot of conferences, and you want to keep this in, uh, let's say your laptop bag. Boom, you have it. It's awesome. This is only I'm saying. If you want to have a meeting with multiple people in your end, then this would be perfect. If you're only only you and a, a group of people, you can use a computer's webcam, the built-in webcam on a laptop. If you're traveling, if you're at home, if you have a, a webcam here, then you can just use that. But if you're having multiple people. I would say up to like 10 people that this is really highly recommended because so everybody can hear and everybody can talk. Because let's say you use the regular webcam, you put it far enough so everybody's capturing the picture. Okay, so remember you only have one mic and whatever speakers. Now everybody might hear, but if you have only one mic, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while for everybody to, to hear you. All right, so this is really highly recommended. All right, all right, so I'm gonna take this out. I'm opening it up right there. All right, let's see how, how this is. I'm just taking off the cover here. And this is the device right here, very lightweight. As you see, I picked up one hand, there's nothing else in here. All right, I'm gonna put this down. All right. All right, so here you guys go, boom. Very, very nice, very good quality. And when you plug in the cable here, it plugs in right on the bottom here. So you can see right there, plugs in the USB-C here, and it has a little hoop right here. So when you plug it in, which I'm gonna demonstrate right now so you guys can see. So just to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. But if you wanna put this away somewhere else, you plug this in here, like so, if I can see. Plugged it in and you see where it's plugged in like this. And then if you wanna just keep the wire there, all you gotta do is wrap it around here and then you'll be all set. And it has a really wrapped thing here so you can keep it wrapped. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but you guys see what I'm talking about? Wrap it around, and then you can take it off whenever you're ready to use it. Simple, it's very, very, very simple. Awesome, and then unless you just wanna unplug it, then you'll be all set. So the wiring, I would say it's about six, eh, about five feet. Let me just, so. So yeah, it's about four and a half to five feet tall. It's touching the ground and the thing is just right here. So it's about five feet tall, five feet of wire. So you have plenty of space to put this around anywhere you want, all right? All right, and like I mentioned, this does have a privacy camera. If you don't want to use the camera, if you're afraid of people watching you, you know, we have our people out there that are afraid of people. Like I'm one of them. I cover my cameras all the time. I make sure nobody's seeing me. My um, Echo Snow is covered. Uh, my webcams are covered. I'm one of those, that's just me, all right? All right, so it has a privacy camera right there. Let me bring it up so you guys can see. All right, and so bring it up, bring it down. Pretty cool, pretty easy. Awesome, all right? All right, and then on, on the top, like I mentioned, let me bring it up close, you can see. You see these little four dots on the each side? Those are your four points of microphone stuff right there. And then from there, if you wanna adjust the volume, you got the adjustment here for volume up, volume down, 
mute the mic, I believe. Yeah, this is to mute the mic. And this is to mute, um, um, stop the camera. I was gonna say mute the camera, but I mean stop the camera right there. Okay, so if you're not using the privacy cam, you can just stop the camera from there and it'll, it'll clear out the camera there and you'll be all set. And around this gray little area here, it is the audio speaker output. So you got your speaker output here, your mic here, and your webcam right here, guys. That thing is an awesome little device. So now I know you wanna see what the quality like is this. I mentioned this is 1080p at 30 frames per second with a 90 degree field of view. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hook it up to my computer. I'm gonna show you off my Elgato face cam first, show you the quality on that. I'll show you the field of view of that, how that looks, and then I'm gonna show you the field of view with this one and the quality on this one, all right? And I'm gonna put an angle from there to this wall here, so you'll see, you, I'm not gonna change the position of each camera, just where one's gonna be higher than the other, so we're gonna just, that's the only difference that you're gonna see. I'll try to put it in between angles, and then take it from there. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I have my camera like this. I know it's blacked out on both sides, but the reason I have it blacked out like this is because I wanted to show you something real quick and I wanted to keep it at full, like full, how everything would look with the camera at full, at its fullest. And uh, unfortunately, this is how the Elgato face cam is at full screen. It gives you my black boards on the side because it's, like I said, the uh, view angle is shorter than normally. And I wanted to show you a quick, couple of quick things on here as well. So as I'm using the face cam and I'm using my HyperX um, uh, microphone, I have it about maybe about five feet away, just so you can see how it sounds different. Because I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put this camera right here. I'm gonna put it over there, basically on top of the microphone, so it's the same distance. So the mic, so you can hear the difference in the mic, and also the same distance as the webcam, so you can see the field of view, how much difference it is. All right, so one, before I do that, I just wanna show you how this looks here. And I wanted to show you something here. I couldn't show you this before because I wanted to show you how it looks now. So as you see, it has a light indicator on the bottom here. This light indicator will tell you what you have in control here. So when everything's good to go, it's blue. You mute the mic, use your orange LED. So let's say you mute the camera or um, stop the camera viewing, it turns red. So not to see, you don't see anything. Turn it back on, boom, it comes right back on. So you don't, but well you go also use the, like I showed you, you can always use the privacy camera here, cover here if you want, but just to make it easier, so you just want to mute the camera, you'll, you'll show it like this. And I'll show you what it looks like once I have it all hooked up. So, as you see, it doesn't show you, it'll show you orange when the, it, this is you mute the camera and the uh, mic, They'll flicker back and forth from orange to red showing you that they're both muted. All right? So if I take if I take off the camera, because right now the camera is muted, it'll stay orange. And if I unmute it, it'll be blue, like all good to go. Blue means that the camera's on and audio's on and you're all set. And then of course you got your volume control on top. Now the quality on the on the speaker, external speaker of it is okay. If you're doing a conference and you want to hear what people are saying, it's okay for that. But I would suggest you see some other kind of speakers. The camera, the audio quality on that is not as good as I thought it would be. And maybe it's just something what I was using it for. But I'll probably play music on the back end and see if it plays better. But as of right now, as for talking, because I actually heard my voice on it. And it's sounding okay enough for you to hear on a conference call. But if you want to listen to like music, background music and stuff. I don't think it'll be that great, in my personal opinion. That's just my opinion alone, nobody else's. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mount the camera over here, where I'd say I was gonna mount it, putting the same angle as I would normally with the other one. Uh, it might be a little tilted because I put it on an arm. Hold on, let me raise my arm up a little bit. So, all right, now I should, okay, now it's flat. I should have adjusted the arm a little bit better. So this is now it's the same distance of my microphone of the camera so it'll pick up the same kind of voice and sound um and you can see what the camera looks like right now how deep it is and everything 
All right, and with the same settings, I didn't change anything on the computer. I'm just gonna switch the camera over because I want to show you how it looks. And once I do that, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over right now. And this is what it looks like. So you see the fewer view is a lot more different. You get more, you get a lot more than, than you normally would with the other one. So just to show you what it looks like with the other one real quick, I know it's gonna be reversed because that's the only way I can set it up. It'll be reversed. So with, uh, with the Elgato, you see like this. Mind you, you see my, my screen over here, you see partial to right here. All right, and then the back screen, you see it pretty much over there, all right? And if I switch it back to the A20, uh, normally these right here, these 920s, you see right here, this is the Logitech 920. Those are normally about 45 degree angle field view. This one is 90 degrees, so it's awesome. So you see the difference in it? And you're hearing the voice in here. So you, I'm pretty sure you hear the voice uh, and I'm in the same distance of the microphone, my HyperX to the microphone on the UniArch. I know I've seen it weird before as a UniArch, but it's called the UniArch A20 conference webcam. I'll probably say it wrong again because I forget how it's pronounced. Uh, but there you guys go. That's how it is you see the difference you see it firsthand how everything works and i think it's a good awesome device and for the price point it's i think it's a really good option to have around i mean some people might use it as a regular webcam and you're more than welcome to it works as good as a webcam to me looking at it it works great as a webcam i think it will be good enough for a webcam if you want to use it just for that instead of just a conference room and you can use it for different things you can use it as a second camera if you want all right guys so let's go back and give you my final thoughts on this product all right guys so we went ahead and reviewed everything we showed you how everything looks how everything works we show you the difference between the two cameras again to remind you i was using the lgl face cam on this hand here and then right on the table you see that i have a20 conference webcam is right here and so you see practically where i have it and it works great uh you saw the quality on it one thing I didn't mention earlier that this camera, because you're wondering how far out do you need to be or how close you gotta be for the mic to pick you up. Basically, the mic's length, it, it records voices up to 16 feet. So, which is pretty a good size of feet. So if you put it at the end of a conference table, long conference table, it'll pick up everybody's voice, which is, I think, a good thing. So you got that there. And the price point on this, guys, is not too bad. It probably costs less than your regular webcams like your C920 that I have around here or even your Elgato um, webcam face cam right there which costs 150 This is running right now because they have a $20 um, off. It's, 20, it's on sale right now for $79.99. It normally is $9.99. But they also, what I realized, um, from them directly, sometimes they have a, like a coupon, click coupon on Amazon. So you can click on that so it's saving even more. So you probably can get this probably for about $70 or after taxes and shipping fees or whatever you want. About 70 bucks, which is a very good price. Normally, another product like this, exactly like the same thing, will cost you $100 or higher. So already, if you pay the retail price, about the 20%, you're paying the same price. But if you if they include a discount code, like I said, in $79.99, if you get it now, it costs you less than that. And it'll cost you less than any other webcam out there. And then on top of that, guys, they have a clip coupon on there. You can check out and click on it and you might save more. By the time you're watching it, or even if maybe you missed out on when I, you see this maybe a month later, you missed out on that coupon. But get it while you can, guys. Save as much money as you can because this, I think this is an awesome little device. And that'll be it for today's video. I really do appreciate you coming by and watching my full unboxing review on this great webcam. If you enjoyed this video and everything I do today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure that everybody's aware of everything we do on this channel. So they're not missing out just like you're not missing now. And also guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done something, end of the video guys, 
click on that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live because trust me guys you never ever want to miss out and that's it for today guys until next time i'm out of here peace